So up next, we have Ludwig versus Box Box. This is mm -hmm. going to be the last match of the day. All right, close out of this, close out of that. Pull up my cheating soft, my, my, uh, sub count here. Cool, cool. The game start automatically. Oh, that's nerve wracking. Is this it? Am I in the game already? This isn't it, is it? Is this it? Is this the game? Is this him? It says opponent. Is that him? Do I move here? I don't have chat open. Oh, it's him. Oh, I'm moving. My time. Fuck. Okay. Well, I, didn't, oh, I wasn't prepared. <sighs> Can't be copyright struck if the man who made the song died 300 years ago. This is just one of the several five head moves that I'll be making throughout the day today. Knight to F3. Now, if he doesn't go knight to C6. Okay, thank God. If he didn't do that. I would have lost the game in five moves. He now we're, now we're going to see if Ludwig, if Ludwig is going to play the, what I suggest. Or yes, is he, yes, he did. Come on. Okay, here he we did. go. Here there we go. go. Here we go. Game on. C3. It's called a Ponzinini. Popular form of pasta. Also popular chess move. My heart's racing. Fianchetto's fine. Yeah, we don't mind a Fianchetto. We trudge onward. He takes. I take. If Ludwig takes the pawn and then brings the knight to attack the queen, he is already much, much better in this game. Fuck it! That was dumb as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I just meant to say that we, we did add Ludwig and he is live so we can hear his thoughts. Or actually his 500 year old music. <laughs> expected? So he said he expected this. Do you think he's gonna move his knight to e5? I, I think it's critical that he does. Oh, if he pushes the pawn, it's, it's a bad exchange. Yeah, I could battery. Yeah. I actually don't feel too bad about battering Ooh. here. This is actually kind of a bait. I wonder if he, he takes he's it. he's baiting box box. If he takes my knight on F3, he's fucked! All right. Because <laughs> then I take knight C6. So he I can only respond well, with let's the go back with to the game. pawn. So he has, he's trying to remember what I showed him the yet yeah, last night, but the problem is here. Oh, box box doesn't take the night. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I think the normal response might be block with Bishop. Yeah. Which I think I'm okay with. He also has a hanging pawn still. That's not being defended by a shit all. Now, obviously look, I'm down, I'm down a pawn, but I do, I do like my position. I, I do feel quite comfortable with it. I guess if he goes a6, I I think I'm supposed to go c4, but my gut tells me c6. And my gut brought me all the way from 600 elo to 650 elo. So he karoshmi baru. Oh, I would love to castle here. I would actually love to castle. But I also feel as though I should make the play with my bishop. Nah, fuck it, we castle. That actually seems really good for me. He goes a6, I go c4, I have double pressure onto the f7 pawn, which would put him in checkmate. So it's a, it's a it's a literal checkmate. So so he'd have to he'd have to act around me. And that's what chess is all about. The more you play chess, the more you realize everyone plays a bit like a pussy. All right, let's now bring our bishop here. All right, I just need to activate one more piece. He finally does it. We're still going to go for this because um it's just goaded. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, yeah, the problem is that knight takes e5 is going to get rid of the threat on f7 and also attack the queen at the same time. So if, if box box sees this, he is winning. Uh, I think I think he, Kikaru had a heart attack. Uh, uh, no, uh, I'm still team, here. But, team, but can I'm, you check, I'm, check I'm his pulse, please? Here. I, no, I'm still here, <laughs> but like... Yeah, okay, I get it, it's a joke, but why hasn't Box Box taken the knight right away? No, he'll probably just uh, castle, right? Isn't it brain dead to not castle here? You just have to castle, right? I think you're just supposed to castle. It would be weird if he didn't castle. Okay, he castles. <gasps> oh, he castled, okay. He, he didn't go for it. Okay, he castles. <laughs> he didn't go for it, oh no. Where my head's at right now, obviously, two defense, I have two attack. I could battery my bishop on this file now. I'm not really sure what his reply would be, though. I think I have to do it. Yeah, I think I have to do it. Because I think the alternative, if I don't do it, is that he just pins. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's, it's a no-brainer. 
Yeah, he could have just moved up too, and then I would have been pinned. You never want to have your guys like, like, with, like, I don't know, like, social distancing, and then, like, a guy can just pop in and then go, <coughs> and then you're just dead. Because you can't both run. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know what to make the play. It's like, it feels like Ludwig makes a blunder every other move, and then the other movie plays is always very, very good. Like queen b3 is an excellent move here by Ludwig because you don't you don't want to move your knight and help activate the black bishop. So I'm this game's just been very confusing because Ludwig plays a blunder and then he plays a, like a great move and then he plays a blunder and then he plays a great move. So he seems to be very very uh, very up and down. So he's gonna have to make a response here. I think the natural response would be to bring the bishop right here. I think that's a pretty strong move. So it's, oh no, bishop e6. Oh no. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I mean, if Boxfox gets the bishop, he is... Sorry, if Ludwig takes the bishop, then he's going to recapture. He's currently down a pawn, but he gets his pawn back. And on top of that... Okay, I see the eval, eval bar saying he's only up a pawn, but he has an attack on the king that I think is going to be very scary for Boxfox. Yeah, so basically you trade the bishops, and then you take with the queen, and then you move the knight with the fork. Um, I assume this is going to happen. Um... Maybe this was dumb as fuck of him. Was it? Was this stupid as shit? Can't I just go to d5? He's social distancing. I come in here. <laughs> He's dead or rice. Let, let's think about it. Let's think about it. If I go here, he could just take my pawn, right? Ah. Uh, so, okay. So, he played one good move. Are we going to see two good moves is the real <laughs> question. Because we saw a good move, blunder, good move, blunder pattern from Ludwig. So, it's important that Ludwig trades, trades the bishops here and just takes the pawn. Um, whether he can play the sequence of the good moves is what we're going to see here. Let, let's go to Ludwig because I think he's about to explain it. Didn't mean to cut you off there. And let's listen to what he has to say. Is he going to see it? Moment of truth. Actually, what purpose is my bishop uh -oh. serving on F4? Uh oh. Or is it better to bring a new piece out? I guess I don't think he's, he's gonna defending see it, the knight. I like that. I like it, so I'm doing it. That's how my brain works. That's how my soul works. That's how my moves work. Hikaru, he's keeping up the pattern. Hikaru? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, sorry, I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here. Um, I'm still here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Okay, so now Box Box, this is his third opportunity to win the game. Um... Oh, he just rips it. What? Damn, did I blunder? I might have blundered. Or is it fine? Damn, did I blunder? Did I miss something big? B2 or B7 is tempting, but it seems dumb. What I'm looking at right now is whether I could have just taken his bishop, and then he would have taken me, and then I would have taken his bishop, and then he would have been forked. I guess he could have just blocked. But he also could have moved in one. Can I just... I should have done that. Why didn't I do that? That would have been smart. Let's just activate my knight. No, I can't! My queen! Jesus, Ludwig! Look at the board! Wait, this is actually such a sick move. Why didn't I do this earlier? <laughs> Wait, this is so sick, because now I also target that pawn. Damn, I should have done this like 10 hours ago. Okay, now he blunders. Now Albert has many ways to win the game here. Oh. Okay, so now this is where uh, if, if Ludwig can see the checkmate pattern and move his knight out to c3, there still are some chances, but I don't think he's going to see it, and he blunders knight to well, four. Now, yeah, knight made two, two to finish the game. Oh my gosh, yeah, exactly. box box saw it. Honestly, that's a beautiful finish from Boxbox to see mm -hmm. this combination. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! No, you just have to move your piece. Unless you can take. So then he's gonna grab me. Fuck! God damn it. You couldn't have given me XQC's pool. You couldn't have done it. Just one time. One time. I don't ask for a lot on Twitch. I really don't. I really don't. On that note, we are about to go to a quick break. We're going to show you Ludwig's stream at the same time, and we'll be back soon with the usual interviews. I was nervous. Absolutely. I, for some reason, this tournament, 16 people, feels like we got 12 brain dead variety streamers who all we do is we watch memes and then accrue prime subs. And then we got four whole ass nerds in this tournament. I don't know how they snuck in. I'll be honest, okay? They know who I'm referring to. I'm live on Chess's stream. Well, good. Well, good. They should hear this. It's unfair. E-Rob and BoxBox in the same tournament. There is a difference between the two people. We can admit this. We can say it out loud. 
Uh, they want an interview. Do they interview losers? Why do they interview losers? Yeah, I blundered a bunch. Yeah, Hikaru told me not to do this, but I did it anyway. When I was playing my 800 ELO match, I was, I was, I was succeeding. And it's weird that when I played a 1600 ELO guy, it wasn't succeeding. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, coffee on the nice sweatshirt. Oh, what could go wrong? That's still on the stream? Why am I still on the stream? What, come on. Show box box doing doing weird weep shit winning Kawhi. Why are you showing this? Anything else? Anything at all? Anything, chess. Anything. All you have to do is play like play like like heads, shoulders, knees, and toes, and it'll entertain Twitch chat. Play brain power. This is this is a train wreck. This shouldn't be on live television. Alright, new plan. I throw every single match I have. I get into the consolation shitters bracket. I beat the shit out of everyone there. It's a pog champ story the whole way through. <laughs> illegal? How is it illegal? How is it illegal? What am I supposed to do? I blunder anyway. Let's be real. I'd probably lose to Swift Thor. I'm kidding. No, I wouldn't do that. I respect tournaments' integrities. As one of the former best Super Smash Brothers melee players of all times, with wins over Chillin' Dude and other names, I know, I know that integrity matters. And we are live. We're joined by Ludwig and Boxbox. Ludwig, do you want to ask the question you you just did before we were on? <sighs> yeah, Alex. Uh, my question is, why did you fuck me? Um, why did you and Hikaru oh. both teach me bad oh. moves? <laughs> <laughs> that were clearly designed for box box to take advantage have a better opening and then destroy me so hikaru was talking about how you actually had a better opening position hikaru take it away yeah so basically in this opening uh box box tried to follow what he does against the bishop coming out right away by playing g6 and if after pawn takes pawn i think guys can both see the board um mm -hmm. yeah i'm putting the them on, on the after zoom black call. pushed the pawn in the center to this d5 square you could have taken with pawn takes pawn uh, queen takes pawn, and then bring your knight out to, to attack the queen. And when the queen moves away, let's just say back to d8 here, you can then push your pawn forward to d5, and black is just way behind. There's no development, and your bishop can come out and check the king next move on the light squares, and your king can go out of the center, and you would have been winning. So, so the question, Ludwig, is why did you do it to yourself? <laughs> okay, okay. All I remember, <laughs> there was, okay, so I just learned this opening. Because my old opening was the Rui Lopez. And then, and then Hans was like, Hans told me that's dog shit. And, so, and then you told oh. me that's bad too. And so then, and so then instead, I, you taught me this opening yesterday. But there's so much to learn. You're supposed to battery sometimes. Sometimes you're supposed to push your pawn up. Sometimes you're not supposed to push your pawn up. Sometimes you're like, oh, you always want your pawns in the four file, Ludwig. These mm -hmm. two squares right here are so important. So I was like, I'm not pushing this up. I will never push this up. And, but now I'm supposed to push it up. But I didn't remember that in the moment. Before we go deeper into it, Box Box, what were your thoughts on the opening? Uh, I was really scared. I was really scared the whole time. Oh. Uh, don't fall for it. He's twelve hundred. I didn't realize I was making a lot of bad moves. I, my ass. You don't know fear. Up until the end of the game, digits. I was like, I was thinking, I'm playing this pretty well, but Ludwig is playing this even better. After the game, I found out we just both suck. But in the moment, I was like, oh my god, this is insane. One wrong move and I get checkmated. I lose a bunch of pieces. I have a question, Box Box, uh, on move seven. Um, so why didn't you take his knight? Uh, great question. <laughs> I was under the impression that if I take his knight. He must have had something genius planned. I did. I go bishop to c6, run it on the simulation, then he takes with his pawn. I take with my queen. Uh-oh, you're pinned, sucker. Isn't that a fork? <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's a double, it's a double, forks have two pins in them. It's a two-prong pin. And yeah, then, yeah. This is this is a fork. Um, there is a way that he can defend the rook and the king, but honestly, it is a little bit hard to see. Bishop d7. He's blocking the check and he's protecting the rook. But if he didn't see that, oh. you know, the simulation would have worked. Oh, yeah, but he wouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, he did do that in the game. <laughs> he was blundering the whole time, man. He wouldn't have done that. There's no way. No way. Okay, yeah, maybe that makes sense. Actually, yeah. Ludwig, I'm scared to argue with them. I feel like these guys know their, th yeah, know their no, stuff. I feel, like, I feel like maybe you guys are a little off on this one. I think what me and Boxbox went for, the blunder line, was a little more uh, proactive and prophylactic. <laughs> so well, that's what we were thinking. But honestly, not a bad uh, you know, thought. 
<laughs> yeah, we're, we're just backseat gaming here, you know? It's like when I play against my Twitch chat. They always backseat game. But you guys actually know what you're saying. Yeah. Box, box, that last tactic by you was a masterpiece. Did you, how, how far behind did you see it? All right. uh, it was like three moves in advance. And then I almost made it like three times while running into something. Like there, there was like something in the way like three times. I'm like right about to instantly lock in the, what I thought was the check me. I'm like, oh wait, the bishop's there. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, the queen's there. On the third time, there was finally nothing in the way. So I was like, okay, I can do it now. Nice, nice. No, that was beautiful. And Ludwig, did this catch you by surprise at all? Honestly, Alex, no. No, I you, was, you knew uh, it was gonna happen. I feel yeah. like you actually lost to Boxbox on purpose because you have been running multiple um, computer simulations to see how you can optimize the amount of prize money you're gonna get, and maybe going for like the consolation bracket and finishing first. It's just gonna this be more than weird the thought other way process that you're having. This is a weird thought process. I've never <laughs> thought this. Interesting, interesting. But no, I would, I would, uh, I would never. I would never. <laughs> um, wow, you could have backed me up one time. Never again. <laughs> never actually, again. Don't self-incriminate. It's the one rule. Well, uh, Hikaru, anything you want to add on that game there? No, I just thought actually out of all the matches in the first round, it was definitely one of the most entertaining games and one of the ones that really both of you guys used a lot of time and it still was, was, wasn't was clear until just the very last uh, last move, this 92 check. Yeah, and, and this was the first game for both of you in PogChamps. Uh, how was it compared to your expectations? Uh, yeah, I was nervous. I was, I was, I was nervous. I was nervous. I, but I, at the same time, I wasn't. And the more Hikaru gassed me up, the less nervous I was. Because I know that everybody you've gassed up has lost. So I know secretly when you say that they have like a 20-30% chance of winning, it means we're fucked. And so <laughs> well, you, all you had to find was one good move, man. One good move and, oh, and you would have won I that game 90% of the time. E4 was good. We can admit this. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly smart. He, he's lucky he's not a bow three. That's all I'm going to say. Bow one... <laughs> And unfortunately, I'm so busy, box box, so I can't even play right now because unfortunately, I have a thing at 238. But if it was a best of three, ooh, it would have been over. Curtains. I mean, Hikaru actually said that you kept alternating between blunders and fantastic moves. So, you you know, you did, you did have some good moves in there. You just kind of even them out with bad moves. Yeah, and I think that's what we call balance. And Ludwig, I know you do a ton of variety. Anything mm -hmm. you can share with the chat? Uh, you know what? Uh, I just uh, actually won a Super Mario 64 World Championship last weekend. Uh, one of the best in the world at that. But I decided to take it to chess. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm in it for the money. All right? <laughs> I'm gunning for the 10K. That's all I'm in it for. I love it. You, you guys, these answers are super refreshing. Box, Box, Ludwig, thank you guys so much for being here. And best of luck with the tournament in the future. Peace out, guys.